Hey everybody, my name is Courtney Gavin. Thanks so much for tuning in today. Welcome to my channel. And today we're gonna to be talking about stretch marks. So yes, as you know, stretch marks are definitely a part of pregnancy and postpartum and motherhood. Now for some of you, you may not even have this problem, which is great. But what I can say is that the majority of us do go through this. So I want you to know getting stretch marks in areas you probably didn't even know you could get them is totally normal. And so I personally have stretch marks. Yep, I sure do. And I wanted to share with you my story and I also have photos. So definitely stay tuned because I'm gonna show you before and after photos of my transformation, if you will. And I will show you the products that I use that I believe worked. I will tell you my story on all of that. So just stay tuned. So yeah, guys, um, as some of you may know or may not know, I'm actually pregnant with baby number two right now. I am, as of today, 18 weeks, so a little over four months. Really, really excited. And baby is due in June 2020. We don't know the gender just yet, but I think it's a girl. So we'll see. So with my first son, Xander, he's about to be two next month, um, I did gain some new stretch marks, primarily on my love handles and also um, my lower abdomen. And then as I got further along, probably like around month eight, month nine, I got some on like my lower breasts. And so they just kind of appear out of nowhere. But what I can say is the moment that I found out I was pregnant with baby number one, I immediately asked some of my girlfriends, my sisters and things like that, whoever like had a baby recently, especially like, what did you use? You know, what do you recommend? Cause I don't want to get stretch marks. Now I'm here to tell you that it's really difficult to prevent stretch marks. It does depend on your history, your genetics, things like that. Um, and so with that said, Unfortunately, I don't believe there's anything out there that can prevent them, but there are products out there on the market that could significantly reduce the appearance of them. And so those were the products I were looking for, you know, to do the best that I could. So one of those products, which is actually recommended by my sister, is this one and it's bio oil. And I hope you guys can see this because I won't know until later. But anyway, bio oil, you can find this in Publix, Walgreens, Target, pretty much all the major um, groceries and pharmacies and things like that. And so this is a little pricey. I forget how much it is, but I use this stuff religiously. And what I'll do is I'll actually put it in a comment so you can actually see um, you know, where I got it from and all that stuff. So every day and every night, I would put this on pretty much anywhere I would be prone to stretch marks. I even put this on even when I didn't have stretch marks. My stretch marks didn't really come on until about month five, about four or five months along in my first pregnancy. I would see like one mark here, one mark there. And then week over week, another mark here, another mark there. And um, you'll notice too, and, and again, everybody's different, so we're not all the same, but my stretch marks were dark reddish, purplish, dark brown. I mean, they were very distinct. You, you, you would definitely know that I had stretch marks. So, and I have, when I did research, a lot of people had the same thing, very similar colors. They're like reddish, purplish, brownish, very dark, um, especially while you're pregnant. And I think it has something to do with the hormones during your pregnancy. Now, also another little trick, which I did, I don't have with me, but I am a firm believer in sugar scrubs. So I actually make my own body scrubs. I use salt scrubs, sugar scrubs, but some of my favorites that I buy from retail, Bath and Body Works actually has some amazing sugar scrubs. And I actually just got one from uh, Victoria's Secret, believe it or not. I got a gift card for my birthday recently and I wanted to try out some of their bath products and it's so nice. It's infused with coconut oil. Bath and Body Works is really nice. It smells amazing. And so what I do is I sh with, when I'm in the shower, I pretty much use a body scrub from head to toe. And what's great is it removes all the dead skin from your skin. And then when you get out the shower, you immediately want to put on some type of oil to lock in the moisture. That really does help. So the body scrub will exfoliate your skin, which also 
helps with the stretch marks too. So I combined the sugar scrub with the bio oil and I did that every day. So I was lathered up. I was so slick and smooth every flipping day. It was crazy. So after you give birth, a lot of medical experts have said that the appearance of your stretch marks typically reduce in appearance. They may not go away completely, but after you've given birth and your hormones are starting to balance back out and you're going back into like your normal, you know, hormonal stage after you've given birth, once you are more balanced, they say that the stretch marks are supposed to reduce in appearance on their own. Now, um, I actually do believe that's true, but I'm also a believer in using things that can kind of expedite that and that can that can work together, you know, in synergy, if you will. So with that said, um, I'm going to show you some pictures coming up here soon, but I want to show you my skincare routine after postpartum. Okay, so postpartum, you know, a year later, I really wasn't happy and pleased with the bio oil, it did help my stretch marks go down a little, but not that much. You really couldn't see that much of a change. So I was desperate for trying something new and I wanted something a little bit more, hopefully more natural. So I tried coconut oil. So Palmer's has um, a lot of coconut oil and coconut butter and things like that. That's what they're known for. They have a lot of products. And I found an oil, like a liquid oil version for their coconut oil. And it's great because a lot of coconut oil usually comes in like a jar. And I had some, but it gets messy and I just preferred it to already be liquid. Now with that said, I don't think that's totally natural because they probably have to put some chemicals in here to make it liquid all the time in room temp. But anyway, what I did was I started using the coconut oil. I liked it, but I didn't like that there was still a bunch of chemicals in it. So I researched olive oil. Turns out olive oil is an excellent oil for your skin and you can use it. So I was happy about that because olive oil is fairly abundant. It can get pricey, but I actually found that I can get more for my money with the olive oil versus the bio oil, because there's only a little bit that comes in here and it's very expensive, but I can get a big jug for just as much, if not less. So I get more for less. So I started using this olive oil religiously. My husband uses it, my son uses it. Um, and so what I did was I kept the container, the coconut oil container, and I just now, I just refill it with olive oil. So another sister oil that I use but I would have to say, this is probably the most expensive of them all. And I'm gonna check out the prices on all this, but it's actually vitamin E oil. You can't go wrong with these two. The only thing with vitamin E oil is that to me, um, I have struggled to find just vitamin E oil, like in the oil version, not like the pill version. Um, I have struggled to find this sometimes in stores. You can always find olive oil in stores. And these things are really expensive and it's tiny. I actually think it's more money than the bio oil. But like I said, um, it's not so much about the money, but I do look at value, right? I look at, well, how much am I getting? How often am I gonna have to replace this? As you can see, there's not a lot left. Uh, my husband recently um, had a little accident and he got a lot of um, road rash. And so we've been using this. This is great for scars and healing your skin and repairing skin. Um, and then this also works just as good. So this is my secret right here, you guys. Olive oil, vitamin E, every day. I started using this and then I will say in about four to five months later, the appearance of my stretch marks dramatically went away. Now, they haven't gone away completely. They're still there, but sometimes I forget they're there because they kind of blend into my skin. So now we're gonna move into the fun part, the photos. So here we go, let's get started. So this first photo here, I was one month postpartum. And so I'm not afraid to show you guys these photos because it is what it is, um, but I was one month. So Xander was one month old. Um, and as you can see, so that's where I had the majority of my stretch marks. I didn't have those there before I got pregnant. So. These were all as a result of my pregnancy. As you can see, they're pretty dark, like that dark purplish, reddish, brownish color. Um, so that's the first photo. 
this was me and pardon my mirror my mirror needed to be cleaned but this was me a year later 13 months postpartum as you can see they're still there now they're not as dark as me being one month postpartum but i just felt like eh, they went down a little but not to my liking so remember when i was saying earlier um the bio oil i had been using a year after and it hadn't gone down that much so with that said, that's when I was desperate for, um, you know, another solution. Found olive oil and you guys, this is a picture I took today, like right before I filmed this video. This is me, no joke, no editing or anything. Now I will say in lighting, sometimes depending on, on, on the angle of the light, you can see where my marks were. They kind of leave a little bit of a scar, right? And then sometimes in some positions of light, it looks like I have absolutely nothing there. But I would say most of the time, that's what my <laughs> what my uh, backside looks like. This vitamin E and this olive oil, mm, this is the secret right here. I'm telling you, this olive oil changed everything for me. It's to the point where I actually stopped using lotion probably about a year ago or so because I don't know about you, but I couldn't stand when I would put lotion on and then 20 minutes later, I still feel dry and ashy. And I'm like, what the heck? I, why even have lotion if it doesn't work? And there's millions and bajillions of products out there that are lotions and we spend all this money, but I don't like spending money on things that don't work. I will spend the money if I know it's gonna work. And so to me, oil all day every day I don't even use lotion the only time I do use lotion is if I'm desperate or see the thing is sometimes I don't like traveling with this because this thing can leak so you don't want that getting on your clothes so sometimes when I'm traveling or if I'm at a hotel I'll use their lotion from time to time but one product one brand that I do like that has to be probably the best moisturizing lotion out there would be Nivea and so Nivea is a little bit more richer and it when you put it on like you're super shiny and everything but I try to stay away from lotions because they just don't seem to be effective so there you have it ladies that is my secret and I hope this helps you and hopefully my my pictures also were able to show you you know that this stuff really does work there was no um surgery there was no editing or anything like that um, but i wanted to be transparent with you and show you something that actually worked so let me know what works for you i would love to hear your stories i want to mention that hey what worked for me may not necessarily work for everybody or maybe you have an alternative that's worked for you i definitely want to hear from you let me know if you have any questions i'm here to help you but if you don't take anything else from this video never stop loving yourself even in those photos even when i was a month postpartum and a year postpartum and as you can see i, I still had a pooch in some of those photos i absolutely still loved myself regardless i'll see you later see you at the next video